Hey YouTube, I uh, just want to make a really quick video here. I uh, had a little major disappointment today. You're looking at a, at a screen, uh, at the screen here, of a guy by the name of Billy Hobbs. And um, we're trying to do some missionary work in the Philippines. And I actually had been communicating with this guy off and on for about, uh, I don't know, three or four months. And um, <laughs> I got quite a shocker today. Uh, but really, really quick, if you want to speed this video up, if you think I'm speaking too slow, um, you can um, go to this little sprocket here, click this little sprocket where it says speed normal, and then you can change it to, diff to a different speed if you want, 125 probably. But uh, getting back to this, uh, he, he did a video on uh, RH bloodlines, and he's talking about Adam and Cain had different bloodlines, and I smell the rat, you, you know, I've been around this camp for a long, long, long time, and I, I, I thought he was dancing around, he's promoting a serpent seed doctrine, but he wasn't actually saying it, and uh, so <clears throat> I responded to him, I said, Billy, uh, Cain's bloodline couldn't possibly be more clear. I quote Genesis 4.1, King James Version. Um, Adam knew his wife Eve, and she conceived and bare Cain and said, I have gotten a man from the Lord. Thus it's clear that Adam was Cain's father, as is written. The DNA corruption didn't come into play until Genesis 6. Also note that God would never uh, accept Cain if he did well if he came from a corrupted bloodline. Um, and then I again quoted here, it's in Genesis 4, 6 and 7, King James Version. And the Lord said unto Cain, Why art thou wroth? And why is thy countenance fallen? If thou dost well, shall thou not be accepted? And if thou dost not well, sin lieth at the door. And unto thee shall be his desire, for thou shalt rule over him. Hence, it is clear that Cain had a shot that these corrupted in Genesis 6 never had. Now, all this said, if, and I'm not sure, again, if you were attempting to dance around the false serpent seed teaching that Cain was allegedly of Satan, then I would suggest that you run for us, run. As said, teaching is a lie of the devil. However, Matthew 13 does teach that there are wheat, a.k.a. the seed of God, and there are also tares, a.k.a. the seed of the devil. They have been allowed to grow together until the harvest. I have done several videos on this topic and debunked the false service seed doctrine many times. I, I sure hope that you are not leaning towards a belief in same, because if eating fruit from a forbidden tree as the serpent seed false teachers say equal having sex with Satan then please note that since Adam ate said or ate of said tree as well then that would mean that Adam was bisexual okay <laughs> not only Eve would have been an adulteress but Adam would have been bisexual which is just nuts and I see no biblical evidence of same whatsoever. Again, especially in light of Genesis 4.1 says uh, Adam being Cain's father. Also of this said, yes, the fallen ones are indeed interbreeding again with the seed of men as we speak. Exactly as Jesus spoke of happening again in Matthew 24 just before he returns I could go on and on but we'll stop here for now now apparently this guy did not <laughs> grasp anything that I said because he just says cruising Kev one I think Eve was pregnant with twins from two fathers I just gave him multiple Bible verses you know the pointed out that Cain or, or excuse me, Adam was Cain's father, and also that God wouldn't have accepted K 
Cain had he been the seed of Satan, or the son of Satan. I mean, give me a break. Where do these people come from? I, I just, it just blows my mind. These people are out trying to preach the gospel, and they, they don't even have the fundamentals of the ability to, to, to interpret Scripture correctly. So then I wrote him, I says, Well, Billy, this saddens me to hear you say the same, but I suspected it. Uh, it is a stretch, and one must take unfounded liberty with the Scriptures to believe as you do. The root of this false teaching are nothing more than the Jewish fables mentioned in multiple places in the scriptures. We were warned about believing and teaching same. That said, Genesis 4.1 could not be more clear as to who the father of Cain is. Again, if eating of a tree equals having sex with Satan, which it clearly does not, then not only Eve would have had to have sex, with said tree, a.k.a. Satan, but also Adam making him bisexual as he ate too. Did he not? Did, did Adam not eat of the same tree? Okay. So, anyway, continuing. Um, also, please note, Adam and Eve were free to eat of all the trees of the garden, with the exception of one. And that is clearly noted as they were good for food. It flat says that. It was good for food. Thus, if eating of a tree equals having sex, then please note the Garden of Eden was nothing more than a huge orgy, which, of course, it was not. Beyond this, again, God would never have said he would accept the seed of certain serpents the seed of the serpent, a.k.a. Uh, Cain, if he did well, as I quoted from Scripture earlier, if his DNA had been corrupted. Think, Billy. Think, Billy. Think, Billy. Okay, again, I have done multiple videos debunking the false serpent seed teaching, and so has Michael Heiser, uh, Ph.D., and Hebrew scholar, Mike calls is a heretical, heretical teaching, and I quote, hogwash. Get that, Billy? Hogwash. And then I told him, I says, you have been warned, Billy. You are guilty of adding to scriptures, to the scriptures. Repent and clean this mess up with love in Christ, Kev, out. So I don't know how much more soft I can be, how much more detailed I can be, how much uh, how much I can just lay it on the line. And then he turns around and rewards me after supporting him. And check this out. I went to another browser and he's removed my comment. He doesn't want his followers to see my comment. It's not here. Look, I'll refresh it. So, I mean, these so-called Christian deck stackers just blow my mind. I, I, they're everywhere. They're, co they're coming out of the woodwork. And I'm so frustrated that it seems like I'm one of the only ones on YouTube battling this. And everybody just, you know, oh, well, you know, this is how it is. But, you know, folks, we're supposed to mark these people. We're supposed to, you know identify these people so that other people don't fall into their traps and fall for their deceptions. So you have to, you know, you have to mark them. You have to try to educate them. Otherwise, you know, it's like cancer. The disease just spreads and spreads and spreads. And so with that, that's it. I'll end the video. I know everybody's running to and fro and don't have time for anything and blah, blah, blah. But you know, this, this just gets me because I work really hard to try and use this, you know, don't use opinion, use the scriptures, back it up, back everything I say up, and then these people come up with this false serpency doctrine. You know, this comes from um, William Brannan, it comes from Arnold Murray, it comes from... Uh, uh, 
Zen Garcia, it comes from Jonathan Clack. You know, Jonathan Clack even says, we're all fallen angels. And, create, and Satan created us all. I mean, it's crazy. We got to we gotta stop this, folks. I need help. I need, I need you know, look, copy my videos. Put them on your own channel. None of my stuff is monetized. I don't make a dime for this. Copy them. Re-upload them. You, you monetize them if you want. I don't care. But get the truth out. Because, you know, this guy has got a bunch of kids hanging around him, and hopefully he's not teaching them this poison. This is bad, 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 bad. Please help wake people up. In Jesus' name I pray. Okay? Amen. Take care. Come see us. Thank <laughs> you.